Yo, what's up guys, my name is Sassy and today we are going to be talking about the grind. Yup, the facet grind, the level 10 grind, the level that I've always wanted to achieve and the one I never got. But in these YouTube series, I'm gonna finally do it. I'm finally getting what I wanted for years. Before we start, real quick, I just wanna say, since it's Christmas in a few days, Merry Christmas everybody, enjoy it, have fun, and I hope you win all of your games. And another little note is that my game, Bean Climb, if you wanna play it, if you've always wanted to play it, and you just want a little simple game to play while you're on holiday, you're gonna be able to get it on Steam, on Steam Winter Sale, at a juicy 50% discount, so check the description. But now, let's get into the Face It Level 10 grind. First of all, I'm gonna real quick start out by saying that yes, I am back into CSGO. It all started with two tournaments, one smaller, one bigger. I really liked it, I fell in love with CSGO again. And now, quite frankly, I'm to be honest, addicted to CSGO because my hours on Steam, it's, dude, I almost have 200 hours past two weeks and majority of them are in CSGO. And it's not like I'm only sitting there in the main menu or I'm fucking sleeping. Uh, okay, you know what? Honestly, yes, I did sleep one day, but that was an accident. But the rest of the time, I am grinding my aim away. I'm playing face it games. And the reason why is because I hate being bad at CS. So I just grind death matches, aim maps, bots, face it games, everything in a row. And I'm just trying to become better and better and better. But now about face it, so like I've said, I've always wanted level 10 because it's just a juicy rank, you know, who doesn't want level 10? But I've never really grinded for it and I've never had pre-mades and I've always played solo. So right after the tournament, I just started grinding out face it games. I played a little bit before the tournaments as well, but majority of them after. At first I started out playing solo queue and it was a little bit annoying because my win rate was 50% so I would just pretty much win one game and lose the next one and that would just repeat itself and you know people who grind games they know how annoying it can be because you feel like you're playing a lot but you're not progressing but then I finally found someone who wants to duo with me Mr. Dead Knedi and what happened when I teamed up with this godlike player oh man we won like 12 games out of 13 I'm pretty sure, it was going really well, we both were carrying all of our games, it was really fun, we were literally steamrolling everybody. Before I found my duo partner Dead Kennedy, I was a yellow rank level 6, I think I barely made it into level 7 solo, I, I don't really remember, and we both, with our huge skill, we boosted ourselves like 3 ranks higher. I personally got the level 8 orange level and him well I don't remember where he started and I don't know where he is because I care about myself not him <laughs> okay so everything's going good right we're playing we're playing we're grinding literally daily I am the one who wakes up it's 6 p.m. every time I wake up and I just message him yo dude we're playing face it once again but then obviously the progress slowed down a little bit because we were getting matched against better players and the luck just ran out a little bit, you know, we weren't as lucky with our lobbies and games. And the win rate went to about like 50%, right? Still decent, we're still making progress. And at the end of that, I was at a level 9. Do you understand? In like 2 or 3 weeks time, I grinded my way to level 9 and I was surprised. I never thought that would be possible and I thought, Oh well, I think this is the final 100 meters, the final push, I'm gonna get it, because I've been grinding for it. Boom. Face it update hits. And people who read the face it update, you're probably thinking, yeah, what about it? It was like pretty good, right? What the newest update did, it like says that the lobby should be more balanced, like, if your team has low matches, the enemy team is gonna have low matches. If you duo queue, the enemy is gonna have a duo queue, right? Stuff like that. The update said that they're not gonna be creating matches only by elo, but those other aspects like player count, level difference, pre-mades in a lobby and stuff like that. And all I can say is, I don't know what they did to that update, what they fixed, because nothing was fixed, because guess what, I'm gonna reveal you a little secret, 9 out of 10 games, no wait, I think it was like 12 lost games out of 13, you wanna know why, 
we were playing duo queue, right? And every game in the enemies was a 5 stack. And not only that, every game was a minus 30 elo. Face it indeed, fix their stuff. And I can even show you my match history, how red it is. It's just minus 32, minus 27, minus 26. It's high elo loss games, kind of disgusting. Long story short, after that the win rate like balanced itself out to like 50% but the problem is still there, we're playing against 5 stacks, the games are pretty hard, it's just, I don't know, we're getting a bit more lucky, we're sweating a bit more. And the reveal, so after the first 3 weeks of the CSGO grind, I started out at a level 6, now I am at 1730 elo. And that is a level 8. Kinda barely, but yeah. We were level 9 at one point, but it is what it is. So now you know, we are at level 8. I feel like it's a pretty decent improvement. Me personally, I'm really satisfied with it. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm most probably gonna keep doing the same stuff as I've been doing. I just wake up, immediately turn on CS, go probably on aimbots. I spend countless hours that my two favorite things that I grind away at is aimbots, bots and deathmatch and the deathmatch can be any kind of deathmatch sometimes i'm feeling pistol sometimes i'm feeling headshot only sometimes i'm feeling a regular deathmatch but i myself turn on headshot only that is my favorite another thing i want to mention here is i'm a little lazy right but i know i would benefit from watching my own demos so i'm planning really soon to start watching my own demos to spot my positioning mistakes because that also is really important and aim isn't just 100% of the game. Maybe some of you guys have some interesting tips on how you improve the game the fastest. What is your most favorite method of improving? And yeah, I guess that's it from me. And let's see in a few weeks where we'll be. Hopefully level 9 or 10. Uh, thank you for watching everybody. I was Sassy and I'm out.